Now, if you're more organised than me, not difficult, you may well have your house festooned for Christmas, but would you go as far as to put up special decorations for wildlife? Well, that is what Kate McRae has done for the wildlife cameras in her garden, including this. Mice and birds can enjoy a meal in the surroundings of a living room, complete with Christmas tree and even a festive snack bar. I'm not making it up. Our environment correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is with Kate in her garden outside Litchfield. Uh, David, I gather this is a little bit of a tradition, and I'm not talking about Christmas. <laughs> it is indeed, Mary. This is the third year Kate's done this. Come over here. Kate McRae is here with me, star of Spring Watch and, of course, friend of Midlands Today. Kate, this is your Christmas critter box, I guess. This is where it you is. film the mammals. Can we it have a is. look? It is, yes, indeed. I'll take the lid off and you can take a look inside. So we have a camera, so far so traditional, and then what is this? Right, well, this is um, one of two projects I've been doing in collaboration with CJ Wildlife. Something a little bit different. So this is a sitting room, but the mammals are coming in and it's basically a feeding station. So let's have a look at some of the pictures you've got in here. What kind of animals are coming in? Right, it's mainly wood mice um, and bank voles. There's also a house mouse coming in. And if you keep an eye out, we may even get shrew species in as well. Now, Mary mentioned a snack bar. What's that about? Well, my snack bar is a similar thing, but for birds. So um, I've built a rather interesting arrangement that looks like a human snack bar. The birds are coming and visiting, but actually there's a tray of food in front. Let's have a look at the pictures from the snack bar then. And I guess, what kind of food can people put out at the moment? Well, obviously you can buy commercially um, produced food, but you can also use things that are in the kitchen. Any old fruit, apples that have gone a bit wrinkly, chop those up and put them out. Um, anything that isn't sweetened or isn't salted. So maybe old dry cereal, a little bit of wholemeal bread, maybe if it's a nice seedy version. So things like that. Um, are absolutely fine for the birds. Now we've had that big cold snap, so yeah. how's our wildlife doing? Well, the way that we feed animals has certainly helped, um, but with the milder weather and a really good crop of berries this year, the wildlife isn't doing too bad, but we can always help them out through the winter by putting food out ourselves. Thank you very much for that, Kate. Well, if you go online and search for Wildlife Kate, you will find Kate's live cameras uh, and you will see some pretty impressive stuff. And I can tell you that that snap bar has had, had an even more festive makeover with at least three or four Christmas trees appearing <laughs> as well. So search online for Wildlife Kate. That's it, Mary. Hopefully we'll have a few more pictures from the mammal boxes a bit later in the programme. But for now, back to you. I should think that's addictive viewing. I wonder if there are any little mini mince pies in there. It's wonderful stuff.